Around the world, we've been seeing a strange phenomenon that so far science has been unable to explain definitively. Well, it's here again, this time in the Lone Star State. We all know Texas is probably best known for its cowboys and cattle, but wait until you see this. June 5th, 2019. It's dusk in the West Texas desert outside the town of Marfa, about 400 miles from the capital of Austin. Margaret Collier is with her family on the side of the road, hoping to see something that has been reported for well over 100 years. And just as the sun begins to go down, she captures this. Bright glowing orbs appear on the horizon that begin to twinkle and then disappear. It's like flickering and changing colors. I think the big like surprise moment for me was when they really started, you know, lighting up and splitting off and all the different um, colors showing up. That was the most exciting for me. Then as night falls, Margaret continues to film the lights dancing over the desert plains. I was just so mesmerized by it. It would be really cool if it was something paranormal or alien related. What are these strange balls of energy? Journalist MJ Benias explains this mysterious phenomenon is known as the Marfa lights. The Marfa lights fall into a broader category of light phenomena we often refer to as ghost lights. Ghost lights are these anomalous sources of light that appear and disappear at random in a given area. People have no idea where they come from. Benias explains that ever since the first documented case of the lights was reported by a cow hand back in 1883, there have been plenty of theories as to what they could be. The local indigenous group in the area, the Apache, believe that these lights are the ghost of a long dead chief named Asalte. According to the legend, Asalte was killed by a Mexican firing squad in 1882. And what people are seeing is his ghost roaming through the territory for some unfinished business. But while many experts believe there must be a more scientific explanation, Benaya says exactly what they could be is up for debate. They would say that this is some sort of other light phenomena, whether it's some sort of electromagnetic phenomenon, um, you know, humidity mixing with electricity in the air, causing sparks. But between these different theories, supernatural versus natural, we still don't really know what causes the Marfa lights. It still remains a mystery to this day. So what do we have here? It has been said that if you ask 100 different people what the Marfa lights are, you will get 100 different answers. We'll need to ask our experts what they think. We begin with astronomer and video effects designer Mark D'Antonio. Is there a logical explanation? Is this simply car lights in the distance? I don't think so. What we watch here, these lights are pretty stationary. And the Marfa lights have been seen for over 100 years and we didn't have cars and highways back then. Could this then be a natural event? D'Antonio explains. Maybe it could be static discharge, lights generated by the planet because of static charge, current being generated by rushing water and through a particular rock strata. It's like when you rub your feet in the carpet and you touch the, something. While D'Antonio can't rule out static discharge, most of us associate flashes of light and electrical activity with the weather. So is this an atmospheric event? We take that question to meteorologist Juan Hernandez. When light is created by the atmosphere, it comes from uh, electrical charges, such as lightning. It's a very big flash, something that is very quick to happen and then disappears. But to get storms, we need moisture. We need uh, plenty of shear. Uh, we need something to move across the region to create those storms. In this case, it's a clear day, which would rule out the possibility of an atmospheric phenomenon causing these lights. While Hernandez rules out weather above ground, D'Antonio notes another theory comes from below. Are gases from beneath the ground being released and igniting from tectonic forces? The theory is that lights that are generated by some type of electrical energy uh, coupled with some magnetic influences, perhaps underground, that ends up becoming visible in the air as some type of lit phenomenon. Certainly something is glowing. But Hernandez isn't so sure. Tectonic activity is unlikely to have caused these lights because in reality, there is no significant tectonic movement in the Marfa region. It all is associated across uh, the West Coast 
and some portions of the East Coast. What's exciting is nobody really knows. That's cool. And so I think the Marfa lights are really a true modern mystery that we don't have answers to. Our verdict, we're going with unexplained phenomena. Like we've seen before with similar mysterious unexplained lights around the world, there are too many theories to settle on just one. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop trying. So the next time you're traveling through Marfa, Texas, be sure to stop on the side of the road and get us more footage to investigate.